to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got a delicious breakfast recipe for you. I'm going to show you how to make creamy, dreamy, sweet potato pie steel cut oats. I know you guys love a good bowl of oatmeal because I've shared oatmeals on the channel before and they are constantly one of your favorites. So I am thrilled to share this recipe because it is perfect for fall. It is so cozy. It uses sweet potato, which is like kind of a fun thing to have for breakfast. And it's also, of course, vegan. It's easily made gluten-free using certified gluten-free oats. And it is super simple to make. So if you do want to make this recipe, which I think you will once you see it, you can find the link right down below in the description box. It's up on the blog and ready for you to make it. And before we dive in, I always like to encourage you to join our community. If you're brand new here, you can find a red button that is right below this video that says subscribe. If you like easy, healthy meals like this, you will love our community here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started into today's new video. So the first step of this recipe is to mash our sweet potato. I have some pre-steamed sweet potato here that I'm just going to mash into a kind of paste or puree. You could also do this with roasted sweet potato. You could also do this with canned puree sweet potato. So it's basically just up to you. Once you have your sweet potato all mashed, you are gonna set that aside and we are going to move on to the oatmeal. So for this recipe, we are gonna be using steel cut oats. You could use any type of oats that you wanted. You could use old fashioned rolled, you could use quick cooking. So once you have your oats into your pan, you will add in your almond milk. You could use any sort of milk you wanted or you could just use water. I just like almond milk because it adds a little bit of a creaminess over water. Then we will bring this up to a boil and then we will reduce this to a simmer. And once it is simmering, we are going to start adding in some of our ingredients. So the first step is to add in the mashed sweet potato. And you're basically just going to stir this together until the sweet potato is evenly combined throughout the oatmeal. And we are actually gonna just let this cook for a little bit and let the mixture thicken for a while. It takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes to do that. Once it has started to thicken, you will notice that the milk has kind of changed color. It's more orangey now. Once you get to that stage, you are going to add in your maple syrup as well as some cinnamon and some hemp seeds for some extra protein. The hemp seeds are optional, but I like to add them in because they add healthy fats, healthy proteins. They make it the oatmeal a little bit more filling. Stir that all together until it is combined. And again, we are going to just continue to let this simmer until the oats are done. And then our final step is to add in our pecans or pecans and just fold those in. And then the final step that I do with steel cut oatmeal, which is optional, but seriously so good, is to stir in a little bit of vegan butter. I just find that it really rounds out the flavor. It adds a really nice richness. It adds even more creaminess. Again, it's optional if you don't wanna do that, but I recommend it. And that is pretty much it for our oatmeal. We are just going to plate it up and I'm gonna show you how I like to top it because I personally think toppings is one of the most fun parts of eating oatmeal. So for this one, I kept things actually pretty simple. I decided to just go with some chopped up pecans as well as a sprinkle more of hemp seeds. I also did a sprinkle of coconut sugar. I used to love putting brown sugar on top of my oatmeal, and so coconut sugar gives it just like a little bit of extra sweetness. And then you can just dig in. And like I said in the intro, this is great for meal prep. I kept this in a sealed container, Tupperware type thing in my fridge for like four to five days and just reheated it. I added a little bit of almond milk to the stove. You could also reheat it in the microwave. So it is awesome for making on a weekend and enjoying all week long. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed watching how to make that delicious bowl of creamy steel cut oats. As you can see, it not only is easy to do, but it also is so perfect for the fall. Cozy, comforting, cinnamon, maple, you are going to love it. It is honestly delicious. And if you are somebody or you have somebody in your family that is not a fan of sweet potato, promise they would never even be able to know that it's in there. The other great thing about steel cut oatmeal is that it is awesome for meal prep. This will keep in the fridge for four to five days. You just have to reheat it on the stove or in the microwave with a splash of water or milk, and it is perfect that way. You also could add more protein if you wanted by adding in a little protein powder or hemp seeds or something like that. 
So if you do wanna make this recipe, as I said in the beginning, it is up on the blog and ready for you. You can find that link right down below this video. If you enjoyed today's recipe, please give it a thumbs up. And I will also link my favorite breakfast recipes down below for you as well. And lastly, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button right below this video if you are new around here and you are not yet part of our community. It is an awesome community. We have a ton of fun. We share delicious recipe content as well as healthy lifestyle advice. And I think you'd love to be part of it. So don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.